Ann Arbor, Michigan is not what normally comes to mind for rail fanning hotspots. However, if your timing is right, you can get a considerable amount of action in a short amount of time. Our morning starts at 7.35 a.m. with Amtrak train 351 making their station stop at the Ann Arbor station. Today's consist is made up of a Siemens Charger, an Amfleet Cafe, and Venture cars. They will spot the cafe car and the first car of the train at the high level movable platform. With their station work complete, 351 highballs heading west for Chicago. NS Local B25 would be running right behind 351 at 7.50 a.m. We headed west of Ann Arbor to get a shot of the train along the Huron River. Today, B25 happened to be a light power move which would limit their speed to only 25 miles per hour. Thanks to the lower speeds, we were able to get two additional shots of the power move as they rolled west along the Michigan line. NS B25 runs between Norfolk Southern's Jackson and Wayne Michigan Yards five to six days per week. It runs east early in the morning and then back west around 6 to 8 a.m. After a short stop for breakfast, we are now on the Ann Arbor Railroad mainline just north of the city. At 8.30 a.m., the road train crosses Pontiac Trail as they enter Osmer Yard to interchange with the Great Lakes Central Railroad. <laughs>
would head back into Ann Arbor to wait for their southbound run. Positioned at the bridge over the Huron River, we watch as the train crosses the river at 9.45 with their short southbound train. final train of the morning would be Amtrak Wolverine service number 353. They are arriving about 10 minutes late into Ann Arbor at 10.35 a.m. Our arrival shot shows them passing by the old Michigan Central Depot in Ann Arbor. After their station work was finished, they highballed Ann Arbor. 353 is running about three hours behind 351 and would be our fifth move in three hours in Ann Arbor. Thanks for watching. If you like Michigan hotspots, do not forget to subscribe for future rail fanning videos.